Hello and welcome to my F122 driving career mode, driving for Alpine alongside Fernando Alonso. We're here today for my home Grand Prix at the British Grand Prix with qualified P13. Let's get into the race. Welcome to Great Britain and the Great Silverstone Circuit for today's Grand Prix. The 3.6 mile long Silverstone circuit is one of the longest of the season with 18 corners in the current layout. With average lap speeds reaching around 145 miles per hour. It's also one of the quickest tracks of the year. Watch out for cars taking the right handers of Abbey and Cops flat out. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Perez, George Russell and Norris, Magnussen, Verstappen, Bottas and Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Stroll, Brown and Mick Schumacher, Ricardo, Joe, Nicholas Latifi and Alex Albon. Sonoda and Sebastian Vettel starts from the back of the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. And with me as usual is Anthony Davidson. Can we begin by having a chat about Charles Leclerc? That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. So before we go into the race, I messed up completely because we have a very warm um, engine which isn't very helpful, you can see the internal combustion engine on 70 odd percent which isn't very helpful so that may hurt us the fibre light to come on because we haven't finished in the last two races hopefully we can today as it lights out and away we go the two Ferraris get away where we're up front there side by side we're just gonna wait for chances to open up for Abby a free farm we've got past Alonso we're gonna send it to the inside of village and now to the outside we send it down the inside there of the Alpha Tauri and now can we get off those Bottas and this car up the road Fernando is battling Max Verstappen, who's had another poor qualifying. Because we battled him in Canada as well. As here comes Gasly, he's gonna come at us. And we fend him off through Magus and Beckett. And hopefully now we can get away. As on to lap two, through Magus and Beckett again. Verstappen has overtaken. Gasly and now here comes Mr. Fernando he's gonna get both of them here he's got Gasly he's on the inside of Max Verstappen this is one pattern I'd love to see in real life but unfortunately Alonso couldn't get the job done around the outside of there and now here comes Verstappen on us he's in the quick car but we're still gonna make it, we're still not going to make it easy for him. As he goes up our inside of the Abbey, goes wide, so we cut him back, going through far. And now we fend him off through Brooklyn's, and now round Luffield, very, very long corner. Now going onto the hangar straight. Here Max comes to the outside, and he sent us to the shops there, at Stowe. Swapped us to Dummy in now. And he's going to be up the road. And that's... He go on with his race. There's Lewis Hamilton. No. For the British fans, the seven-time champion is out of the British Grand Prix. It's now Fernando is hunting us down. He's had the measure on us so far this season. 
and now he pulls alongside and he goes to the inside through Hatabi Free Farm and Fernando looks to have got the job done, he has got the job done and Sergio Perez from P4 is going slow and you can see his left right tyre because Perez has got a puncture that is something I didn't know could happen on the game and it's a very odd side to get to punctures Kevin Magnussen is the back of him he is going to pit we are going to be on this lap as well but it's very odd that it's on the left hand right right front tyre you'd expect it to be on the left because of the the load going through the tyres but that's ruined Checo's down the three pits go into the hard tyres nearly get blocked there uh, by the Alfa Tauri and really bad at timing the timing the button so we're ignoring that bit of the pit stop as we are going to come out now obviously the hard tyres are very very hard to get up to temperature and now can we we were just we were just about staying in touch with Fernando we were just staying inside his DRS so can we potentially get alongside and jump him in, in the pit stops as one lap later in comes Fernando but there was it was meant to rain in this race there was a high chance of rain right in the middle of the Grand Prix but you can see how far up the road Fernando is and now I think that's pretty much our attempt to catch Fernando who was quicker as here comes Magnussen on us now to the inside I just feel the drop down in we had good pace at the start of the race but not on these hard tyres it's turning to be like back here and we were just staying in touch with Magnus and his DRS and Magnus the DRS as we defend Ricardo around the outside the DRS seems to be very very powerful around here at Silverstone in terms of giving helping defend behind in those DRS trains as Max Verstappen retires from P4 in the Grand Prix that's backed by DNFs from real life and in this game for Max Verstappen at Silverstone but it's also there may be a P4 curse for Red Bull Paris had the puncture from P4 and Max just retired so the two championship contenders from last season are both out of this British Grand Prix as now we're three riders we are fending off Ricardo and Mick Schumacher free ride we do just about stay ahead then heading into village and now round the loop and on for entrance we have a big wobble coming out of the loop through entry and now Ricardo is going to be able to have a fight on us we're trying to get to the inside we go Ricardo back but we go deep and Ricardo has cut us back as well, that was dummy after dummy as now we do stay ahead of Ricardo and Mick Schumacher has jumped Ricardo Ricardo is having a bit of a stinker season just like he is in real life and now Mick Schumacher here we go, three ways of making we touch and we have run off the track and over over Beckett's there and now Probably a bit dramatic by me going off the track, but here comes Mick Schumacher again on the outside. He just still got the job done as we have to defend Ricardo to the inside. We go off the track and stow. We've had a bit of a mare of a lap. We just need to take a breather, recompose, and go again at Mick Schumacher. Like we're going to do into Brooklyn's. We re overtake. Mick Schumacher this is the fight for P9 as now Mick Schumacher comes under pressure from Daniel Ricciardo and now 
the gym I could defend the gym I was going to go to our inside and I had to get a job done now I managed to hold on round the outside and now two laps to go Mick Schumacher this time cleanly through Magnus and Beck Beckers we battle and he's been absolutely done there by Daniel Ricciardo but Mick's not giving up not just yet in his house they're side by side down the hangar straight and then now is Mick Schumacher going to go to the outside now He's just too far back to do so. But this is it then. Charles Leclerc has led an unbelievable Grand Prix. Some say he should have won the real British Grand Prix. He wins it in his career mate. George gets his first podium at Silverstone in the Mercedes. And Carlos Sainz comes home for P3 as we are battling. Daniel Ricciardo, this is the first time we have had a very good look at points in terms of actually finishing a race. We, we came very close last time in Canada. We defend off Ricciardo. We've somehow got DRS, which has been very, very powerful around the Silverstone track. Ricciardo goes wide and he's lost out to meet Schumacher. And we're going to run the final corner to finally get points since Monaco. Here's our winner, pulling their Ferrari into Park Ferme then. What a fantastic race. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? A team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today, and a stunning win for Ferrari. So it's been a British Grand Prix then very, very good race, just glad to finish it after those two retirements in Baku and Canada with the wear of the ICE, I really, really thought it was going to be three DNFs in a row, but with that Leclerc win, he is putting a massive stamp on the championship now, ahead of his teammate, 40 points a gap. And we have also stayed very on understandings. As we know, Fernando is dominating me. But that's been the British Grand Prix. Decent race, finally got points. And next, we head to Austria for the first sprint race of the career mode. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.